What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American, here today to react and learn about some of the best things to do and see in the city of Drammen. So like most Americans, I am not familiar with many Norwegian cities. So today, I wanted to take a closer look at the Norwegian city of Drammen. And I want to start off here by taking a look at this map of Norway so I can understand exactly where Drammen is and where exactly we're talking about. So if I zoom in here, it looks like it is most definitely in southern Norway. And if I draw, oh, it's actually very close to Oslo. I did not know that. Very close to Oslo. Okay, I'm going to zoom in even further. Okay, and it's by... Oh, it has its own fjord. <laughs> does, does every Norwegian city have to have its own, like, body of water or fjord? I feel like that's something I keep seeing over and over again. Uh, beautiful Norwegian cities that are on or by water. This has the Drammen's Fjorden? Like the Drammen Fjord. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, this is by Oslo. It's in really southern Norway. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to know about where it is. And I want to take a look at this video, which is going to cover 10 of the coolest, best places to see and visit in Drammen. So, let's take a look. Just a regiment. Oh. In the wild countryside north of Drammen is a 1,300 meter long gorge with sheer walls that reach 60 meters in height and a width of just 4 meters at the... Oh, what? So this has a name. How did they say it? Joster... Jostergavit? Is that, is that how you pronounce it? This is like a hike or, or a cliff? It's some kind of gigantic rock formation. That is... That's another thing about Norway. Like, there, oh, is there always somewhere cool to hike? Or a fjord? Or a mountain? It certainly feels that way. So this is the one by Drammen. Okay. The narrowest point. In summer, when the river's at its lowest, you can walk through the gorge along the riverbed. Oh, that's what they're doing right here. Oh, wow. There's actually a lot of rocks and sticks and stuff. This could actually be difficult. Um, is this like a cool place to hike? And in the summer, the water goes down and you can actually hike in the gorge where the river would normally be. That's very cool. Very cool. Okay. Number two, Spiralin. Spiralin. At Bridgernsaisen, directly north of Drammen is... This is north of Drammen. Hold on. I just want to take a second to appreciate this photo here. Is this like an overview of the city of Drammen. It's absolutely beautiful. It, it's like split in two, like on each side of the river or the fjord, huh? And the mountains and this is just classic Norway. This looks amazing. This looks like, you know, you know what I really like about this? Drammen uh, seems to be a pretty big city in Norway, but it's not like the biggest. It's not like Oslo or something, or, or maybe like Bergen, which I think is big. This is like a little smaller, and yet you get all of the amazing perks of being in Norway, by the water, by the mountains. So if you don't want to be in such a crowded city, Drammen could be like the perfect size, maybe. Something out of the ordinary. The Spiralin is a corkscrew tunnel that twists its way for 1,650 meters up to a scenic lookout above the city on the Skansen Ridge. What? This is called the Spiralin? They're not showing a photo of it, though. What is this? I gotta look this up, I think. This, this is, a, this is a, a tunnel that leads to the top of Drammen? Is that what they said? Hold on. The Spiralin is a corkscrew tunnel that twists its way for 1,650 meters up to a scenic lookout above the city on the Skansen Ridge. I'm going to see if I can find a, a picture of this. Okay, is this it? Is this the Spiralin? Is this what it looks like? I found some images here. Um, it looks like the entrance to a tunnel. Uh, 
Oh, there's like a cave. Spiralin. Yes. Oh, this is very cool. Do you actually drive your car up here? I thought it was like something that you, you hike or like a tunnel you climb up. Okay, very cool. It actually has its own Wikipedia. It's a tunnel, 1,650 meters, in the shape of a helix. Wow. Very cool. Oh, wow. Inside of the tunnel. Okay, I get it. <laughs> Very cool. I, I had to look up some pictures of this. Like, they were not showing or doing this justice. The Spiralin completes six whole turns, rising 22 meters with each one. And at the top, you'll be 200 meters above sea level. Oh, you drive in a spiral upwards, like in a parking tunnel, like to go up. It's a spiral. Okay, okay, I see. Okay, cool. Number three, Bridgerns Kirk. Oh wow, Bridgerns Kirk. This is this. This looks like a church or a cathedral or something. They have stuff like this in Norway. On an axis intersecting Drammen's main square, Bridgerns Torg, and the city bridge, the brick-built Bridgerns Kirk was consecrated in 1871. 1871. My God. It's been like 150 years, this church. It's beautiful. What is, what is this, a painting? What is this? The church is in the neo-Gothic style that was fashionable at the time. Okay. And its choir is oriented to the north rather than the east, as is the tradition. Ah. Number four, Bridgerns Torg. Bridgerns Torg. I have absolutely no idea, just from the names alone, I have no idea what we're going to be talking about. There's the... Cathedral in the background, actually, huh. Much of Drammen was obliterated in a great fire in 1866, and to prevent another catastrophe, the new center of the city left a lot of room between buildings. What? What? Drammen? Did they say it was a, gr a, a giant fire? It burned to the ground? Much of Drammen was obliterated in a great fire in 1866, oh and God. to prevent another catastrophe, the new center of the city left a lot of room between buildings, creating a real sense of scale. Oh, so this is like the town square of Drammen, and they purposely built things really far away. There's a lot of space between these towers, and that is so, in case there's a fire, it, it can't spread, or... Is that actually what they were thinking when they designed this? Wow, that's a very sad story, actually. That is how Drammen ended up with the largest city square in Norway. Wow. And one of the largest in Scandinavia. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is the city square. It's beautiful. It's got a statue, maybe a fountain. It is very, very big. Very nice. Number five, Drammen's Museum. Oh, okay. The city museum is headquartered at Marion Lestgard, a manor house from 1770, but also... I was gonna say, so th this, this looks like a house, and it was. This was, did someone super rich <laughs> back in, like, the old days in Drammen, someone super rich lived in this manor? A and it's cool that they repurposed it to become a, a museum, actually. Also has locations at two other elegant properties, Austedgard and Gulskagengard, as well as the outdoor museum at Spiral Toppen. Nice, nice. Okay, they're not going to show the inside. Oh man, so it's like the Drammen Museum, where maybe you can learn about the history of Drammen by inside. And okay, that's cool. Number six, Gulskagengard. Gulskagengard. Um, this also looks like an old house or manor. Gosh, there were, were there a lot of wealthy people in Drammen? They got some big houses here. Sadly, many were lost during industrialization, but this one survived and was given its current Louis XVI style in 1804. Oh. The property was acquired at auction by Drammen's richest merchant, Peter Nikolai Arbo in 1794 and remained in the Arbo family for several generations. So it, it, it is a, a giant house that has a really long history in Drammen, and it's been owned by multiple families. What does it do now? Now is it like a public sort of like public architecture that you can go visit and admire? Or does somebody actually live here still? Huh. Number seven, 
Astedgard. Astedgard? My god, Draman has a lot of really, really nice buildings. Oh my god. This looks like the White House or something. This estate has a history reaching back to the 14th century and okay. has had some distinguished owners, like the 17th century general Ulrich Frederick Gildenlove. Oh, I don't know who that is. Is that a famous Norwegian general? Did they say this is from the 1400s? That is so cool that Norway has done such a good job at preserving a lot of the history. Is this house really 600 years old, actually? The old house burned down at the start of the 19th century and the current neoclassical main building was raised between 1808 and 1813 on the preserved foundations. Oh, they actually had to rebuild this. Oh my god, so a lot of Draman actually burned down. That's part of the history of Draman. I'd be very interested to learn about when or wh why that happened exactly. That's a uh, horrible, but thankfully it seems like Draman has done a really great job at rebuilding the city and it looks fantastic now. Number eight, Gallery Athene. Gallery Athene. Um, this is an art gallery. That's cool. That's really, you know, I'm starting to notice in this video, this does seem to mostly be sort of stuff that you would go see if you were visiting Draman. I imagine the people of Draman probably, like, focus more on, like, the restaurants or the cool things to, to do and activities and getting outside. And this video is really focusing on Cool stuff to see if you're ever visiting Draman. And for that reason, I really am enjoying this. I, I do hope that they show a little bit more of the city because I do enjoy seeing the, the city as a whole, but this is an art gallery, which would be very cool to see. Um, what is this art exactly? On Gronland, amid the glass buildings and refurbished factories on the south bank of the Draman River is one of Norway's biggest private art galleries. Oh. Gallery Athene is on five floors and puts on exhibitions oh. for painting, sculpture, graphic art, and installations. And oh, wow, this is big. This is a big art gallery. Five stories tall. So the art changes. This is for exhibitions. So different artists around Norway get the opportunity to have their work shown in this gallery. That's awesome. That's awesome and showcases both unknown and upcoming talent and already established names. Cool, cool. Number nine, Ypsilon Bridge. Oh, the bridge, yes. Yes, earlier when we saw that big wide shot of Draman, uh, I noticed that there was a bridge connecting the two sides since there is a big river or fjord to, like going down Draman, it looks like. So there's this big cool bridge it's called the Ypsilon Bridge. Okay. The biggest recent addition to Draman's cityscape is this cable-stayed pedestrian and cycle crossing, which oh. opened in 2008 and was- Oh, cool. This is for walking. I thought this was for cars. This is, that's how American my mind is. Uh, <laughs> like all of our bridges are for cars. This is for bicycling and walking. That's fantastic. And that's got a- that's really nice, actually. Um, so people, if they're going around the city or needing to travel across the city, you don't have to take a car. You can walk across this bridge. It was designed by the Arne Egan architecture firm. The cool. Ypsilon Bridge is so called because of its Y shape as it has two abutments on its north side at Bridgerns and one on the south at Stromso. It is a very unique looking bridge, I have to say. That's really cool. Norway does seem to embrace the interesting, like, modern-looking architecture, like this bridge. Number 10. Draman's Badit. Okay, and here we are. We're already at number 10 on the list. This is Draman's Badit. This is a sw swimming pool? Why, why is this, why is this on the list? Is this, like, really cool pool? <laughs> In a building that resembles a rolling wave, Draman has the biggest bathing facility in all of Norway. Okay. The Draman's Badet has nine pools, five of which are inside oh. and four outside. Oh! 
This is huge. This is gigantic. This is probably something that the people living in Draman take advantage of. Nine pools? There's a bunch of tubes, too. Is that, is that like a water slide? Wait a minute. Never mind. This place seems awesome. <laughs> Those outdoor pools are open June to August when you can drop your towel on the grass if it's warm enough. Nice. Hope you like this video. Huh. For more videos, please... Okay, that's the end, actually. This is a really cool place. I wish they would have shown a little bit more of this facility. But as far as, like, an introduction to Draman and what's available in the city, uh, this was a good video. This was a nice little video about Draman. Uh, it was it was by Wiki Peaks. I gotta give it a like, because I did like this. It's actually very, very difficult to find information about stuff in Draman uh, on YouTube. So this was, I was really thankful I at least found this video, which had 10 cool things in Draman. But I imagine there's actually a lot more cool stuff in Draman. But like I said, this was sort of my introduction to the city. Dr you know, a lot of Americans have heard of Oslo and know some things about Oslo maybe, but but not really a lot of the other cities, and certainly not Draman, which is why I wanted to kind of highlight and learn about Draman today, and I'm really glad I did. It's got a lot of really cool old buildings, architecture, museums, parks, bridges, a cool swimming facility. It seems like a really, really cool city, and I, I enjoyed learning about it. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like, or leave a comment with your thoughts on Draman or any other cool things that we might have missed in this video. That'd be really fun to hear about. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway and Norwegian culture and, and learning and seeing things in Norway for the first time, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.